Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, The Great War with me, Alpha Biomega and Austria-Hungary. So in the previous episode we made some advance advancements into Greece and today we are going to continue after we on the 26th finish the port in here that should help us supply our units for the next attack. We uh, have also um, been under constant attacks all along our border and there is actually one place where we are suffering heavy casualties at this point and need some help so i'm thinking that i might want to reinforce yeah but the army is not doing great here so i think you guys can actually for now go and help here in all wolf because this area needs to be covered much better uh, actually I'm gonna send you here by rail and then you're gonna advance into there and start protecting her because the attack there is massive I've done also one thing between the episodes and that's that we have started improving relations with Norway Switzerland and uh, Nor wait Netherlands Switzerland and Norway uh, so that I say it uh, as the flags go because those will also provide us with some extra support and right now we are receiving artillery from Denmark and Sweden and I was trying to get something from Spain but it's not working at this point uh, yeah we have sent a diplomatic request uh, so we'll see if they accept it I'm not sure what I did because I had a 20 minute break between episodes and I can't seem to remember what was happening there so you guys really need to get there fast otherwise this is not gonna end well for us come on go go get in there 15 hours we might not have enough time okay Sweden will uh, Spain will give us Crap. Dang it. Okay, we didn't manage that. I'm gonna let you stay in here and we're gonna and watch the border. This is bad. We're starting to lose uh, some territory here, which is which army are you? First one? First one, okay. Due to massive attacks all over the border. Now I've checked and we are actually uh, still managing to keep the ratio to 3 to 1 in casualties. Which is great, but we really need to get a bit more of a move on. And we lost a lot of tanks, artillery, infantry. I'm thinking we might be able to get some of the regular Stostupan divisions up, right? Yeah, we easily could if we had the artillery, which we don't. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Well, anyway, let's unpause it. The combat is continuing. They're attacking us further. So let's see what's going to happen there. Uh, the port is ready now, though. It was finished. Uh, we're upgrading it for more supply. And that means... And the attacks here should be easier now. So we're just gonna go there to reinforce and then we're gonna launch the attack again. Okay, let's see. There should be maybe no attrition there at all. Yep, there's no attrition in this territory, so let's just recover. What about these areas right. and we have some insufficient resources now okay it's a, a bit more of a problem of our supply lines not being able to hold and i think we might want to extend our yep we have the first or let's actually is it the first one or the last tantra class it's no, it's the first um, Tatar class, is the first destroyer, and we get another scout fleet here, which can start scouting. Out. 
Come on, guys. You are going to be stationed in here and work in this area and in the central Mediterranean as well. And so will you. Okay, and we finished the next airplane, Phoenix D1. Actually, I checked and the uh, Aviatic D1 was one of the best fighters uh, that was in service for uh, hung Austria Hungary. So it's a very famous plane, looked pretty nice, and the Phoenix is a great. Um, well, what would be what would be that? No, the Aviatic is the ancestor of Phoenix, and the Phoenix, the descendant. Ah, this is the right word I was searching for. So more attack, way more agility, way more air defense. What about air attack? Just one more. Okay, reliability is the same. So we can switch to that one and start working on industry because that is something that we really, really need now. How far are we with you? Next one will be done on third day of... Okay, and at that point we're going to switch. And we're starting to get more of them in reserve, which is amazing because we need... Uh, we need more of these. So let's put you here and have you... Work in here, and you are going to be flying here for interception mission, making sure that we have some support in here. I'm gonna put you on. Let's put you on 50. It's not gonna happen anytime soon, but still, we can do it. Okay, let's see how this is gonna go. So, you guys continue to recover. Which is amazing. Once they'll be at full, we are going here and striking. And hopefully that's gonna work. Jesus Christ, they are actually making pretty darn good advances into our territory now. We'll need to... Yeah, once we're done with our situation here, we'll have to search for attacks of opportunity. And just push the line wherever we can in hopes that it's gonna work. Okay, I believe you're done. So now you will move together. Uh, I forgot to s switch them. The okay, next one will be done tomorrow. Okay, let's do one more and then switch to the Phoenix. And it's gonna take a while. Extra research slot 2 has been granted, which is amazing. And I think we can go with... Let's go with recruitment propaganda next. Because that one will just give us experience. Oh, and we can get an air doctrine next. Fighter detection plus 20%. Basic fighter maneuver. Playing a large aerial game of chicken works against unarmed or inferior aircraft. Tailing an enemy aircraft or simply attacking from a direction that no gun is facing can save many lives of our pilots. Strike fear into our enemies and make air superior and interception more of an efficient process. So fighter detection plus 20%. And I'm thinking we desperately need to get on the train of anti-air. So where was that thing? Remember it was here. It's still way ahead of time. But we'll need to get in there anyway very soon. Mod transfusion kit could be done Soon construction speed plus two. Factor repair speed. Is there anything better that would help us like right now? Support anti-air, anti-air. That's not something that we want. This is way ahead of time. The super heavy would be kind of cool, but... Okay, we can... Yeah, awesome. We can get... Support divisions upgraded. That's a flat out bonus that costs nothing. Right. You guys go here and we'll strike fear into our enemies. Hopefully. 
I mean, as long as they're moving here, I'm fine with it because that means they will not get any bonuses. Yeah, we'll be able to regain the territory pretty quickly, but I, I'm actually losing the ambition to get all of Greece. Uh, but I would like to at least get what we need. So let's see how this attack is gonna go. It should be super simple, super quick. Yeah. Where are you moving to? Are they coming here? I hope not. So let's try to delay them. Okay, they won't be there in time. Damn, okay, that is amazing. That was actually really amazing and quick. Okay, and we're getting this territory pretty much for the Ottomans, which is not what I wanted to do, but Okay. Now let's spread you around here and we launch the attack on the port and take it away from them. Which means their supply lines are going to be way, way worse. Yeah, okay. Our ships are being a bit more bold now, which is amazing. We have a larger fleet so we can venture further. Sank more Italian ships. And actually, once we get this port, I would be okay with stationing our ships here. Because that seems like a way better option for us. Okay. Considering Greece is going to fall into the Ottoman hands, I don't feel uh, like it's such a great idea to... Yeah, they're in low supply, so... That is fine. They, don't, they won't be able to do much here. So we can leave it out to the... Um, to the Ottomans and everyone, we'll just uh, make sure that our units are covering the coast. Okay, that's actually a pretty good choice. And then we are moving to attacks of opportunity, which is going to be kind of hard to figure out. But for example, this this would definitely be one place. Holy hell, they're actually pushing heavily on us. So we need to make sure that that's no longer happening. Yeah, this is an attack of opportunity. This is an attack of opportunity. There's going to be a lot of places where we can strike quickly and make sure that we have the maximum effect. Okay, let them attack. They are going to do preparation for what we will eventually want. This is insane. Okay, we need to repair you, you, the ports and everything. Okay. Let the Germans break off their attack, at which point we are going to start striking. They are encircled, even if it doesn't seem like that, but... Okay, let's go. We don't need to wait. This is gonna be quick. Okay, so 11 divisions here. Let's check the casualty ratio now. 10.8 million. Yeah, they're paying dearly for their offenses. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're improving the relations. I wanted to check if we can request now. Infantry, yes, they would give us infantry and towed artillery. In Norway, what about you? Towed 
Nope, not yet. Okay, relations need to be better. But you're giving us nothing. Instead, infantry equipment. Yep. Switzerland. We have borders with you, so that is amazing opportunity. Uh, relations not high enough. Okay, but they can start sending us infantry equipment. Yep, Spain will give us 1529 Moses. Same with Sweden. Yeah, we're already eliminating their divisions. Pretty drastic. Look at how many they got in there. Oh god, they can retreat. I did not realize that they have um they have a book okay, but that one will be out of supply and yeah we'll push them away and keep them in there and there's no way for them to save them so that works fine as well. Fine by me, it's still working really nicely. And it means that those casualties are only going to be higher. Okay, sank some submarines here. Our navy is getting bigger. How are we doing on the, on the production of ships? We're still building one of those armored cruisers. Okay, that one is going to be done in a couple of days. Goodbye, my lovelies. Well, feel free to exhaust yourselves, because that only means that you guys are going to suffer faster. Yeah, I really don't like the fact that they are managing to push us there, but it needs to hold for a bit longer. This will be unbreakable for the enemy. Because those are mountains and hills. Go. Wait, does this one division defend all of them? Nope, okay, it didn't, but... Yeah, this is the encirclement situation. There's 11 divisions... 5 and... S yeah, 11 divisions, okay. Just go ahead and destroy them all. Damn it! Guys, you really need to make sure that this is going to work. And we're going to hold, otherwise we are really starting to be screwed here. And no matter how many casualties we cause to them, they are going to be fine with it. I mean, it is a naval attack, but they don't have any, any way how to resupply them or replenish anything. So. Come on, they should stop dropping now. Yep, they are. First one just dropped. Good thing is that they can't pierce us here. And yeah, there goes another one. And another one. Casualties are just gonna skyrocket for them, but that is just what we wanted. And these units, yep, the enemy are out of supply now, so the closest ports are here and here, which is quite far away from them. Well, we will have ports here and here, which mean that our supply situation is not ideal, but much better. Come on, break them. Down to nine divisions, all of them are almost dead. Kind of production of weapons is going smoother. How's the. Ve there is an, almost nothing happening on the Western line. I do have heavy. 
and Circumman there do. The fact that there are so many divisions here attacking us non-stop just means that we are slaughtering them by the thousands. Okay, so let's revisit Switzerland again. Maybe now would be the time. Nope, not yet. Nope, yeah, they can. 1400 guns. Amazing. Norway, what about you? Nice. Nope, they're down to five divisions. And these are all at almost max strength. That's amazing. Nice. Got it. So what's the ratio now? 11.16 million. That's how many we killed. Okay. What about this one? That's part of this. Not that it's bad, but it doesn't mean it's that bad. This area is falling. So do we want to help here? Well, we can. Let's do that as a... Wait. Let's do that as a last thing we do on this border. And then we're moving back north to help with our own situation. Look at how we're butchering them. And we really need those reinforcements. Cool. Okay. We're working on the trains we are. Yeah, a number of factories got damaged. Where are they? Wait, what? I don't see them damaged. Oh, they were fixed right when I checked. Okay, I think they might got it pretty much covered, but... Once you get them staying here, attack. Once we get you in there, they're gonna be done. I don't like the fact. Yeah, we got it. Okay. So now we are finally going to fight the Russians. We are finally going to fight the Russians. To make sure that they suffer but how are we going to do that this area is just swarming with enemies so let's go here first and push them back from the german territory then we're gonna go back to our place but this is good this is good and i'm thinking I might take away some of the duplicated divisions and send them down there. Yeah, just, just for good measure. You're going to be a special... No, why would they... Yeah, you're going to be a special unit put in there. So let's give you even your own commander. Stefan Hoffmann, you're going to be part of this. I'm going to call you the third Küstenwache. And you're going to protect just a tiny little island from potential enemy invasion. Okay, on that note, I think I'm going to end the episode here. We've done what we wanted here. The Ottomans gained even more factories, which is great. Uh, they're slowly getting stronger. I'm happy about that, but it's nowhere near what we need them to do. And now we'll have to start pushing uh, the northern lines. Well, I'd love to, you know, get the Greece fall. I'm going to leave that to the Germans and hope that 
this is gonna hold instead we need to get the situation on control my first operation will be here and we might want to push a bit here and this entire area seems like it's weakened so we might be able to actually start stealing some territory from them and then we'll have to focus on these pockets but they are going to take quite some working because there is a lot of the a lot of enemies everywhere but yeah, this area is now much weaker so if we send units here we might be able to to fight them better well we'll see anyway thank you very much for joining me and i'll see you in the next episode